Once the action has ended, all you want to do is lie on your back and hit the mental rewind button and play everything in your head, only if you've had fun though, but do you know staying in bed for a long time after having sex could be harmful to your health? It turns out the answer is yes, your body goes through rigorous physical activity, and if you do not take certain precautions, you could end up with a woman's worst nightmare, urinary tract infection. Check out these easy and enjoyable rituals that will keep you happy and down there. Wipe thoroughly with non-smelly soap. Design your post-sex routine around one rule, and that is hygiene. There is no excuse, period. The chances of yeast development rise significantly in women with the use of sexual lubricants. It is critical that you take a trip to the loo to pee not just to pee, but also you take your time to wash your lady parts correctly. Keep a separate, non-fragrant soap for the job. Take a washcloth, put some soap in water, and gently clean that area by moving your hand back and forth. Soak in the bathtub. A warm bath with some extra virgin oil will not only help calm the charged sex goddess inside you, but it will also reduce the risk of unhealthy infections. The warm water prevents the outer vagina from going dry so that you don't have to deal with any irritations. Refuel with pint of water. Sex is a full time exercise and consumes a hell lot of your physical energy. Extreme physical activity can cause dehydration in your entire body. There is a reason why suddenly your mouth starts to feel dry if during sex your vagina seems to remain dry, your body is experiencing dehydration. Take a sip or two of water to refuel your system as soon as you are finished. Eat food that are rich in probiotics. What you eat after having sex is very important. I know those chocolate chip cookies in the jar look tempting, but we advise you to choose your snack wisely. Your best option is fermented foods such as yogurt for instance. Kombucha and kimchi make healthy alternatives. Eating these as a snack after sex can restock good bacteria so that you don't get yeast infections. Avoid sexy lingerie. We recommend you go commando. It is time to ditch sexy and get comfy. The nylon and polyester lingerie are your ticket to infections. The non-breathable fabric allows germs to grow fast. You can also opt for cotton underwear or something that does not fit too tight. Rush to the bathroom only when you have to pee. You should head to the bathroom after sex to pee. It helps rinse away bacteria such as E. coli that might have moved to your urethra during intercourse. However, if you do not feel the urge to pee right after sex, it is also normal. Hit the mental rewind button while you relax in the bed. Take the time to visually zet everything from the very start till the end. Revisiting the whole thing will not only help you kill time, but will also help you improve your bond with your partner. Note the discomforts during sex. Sometimes sex can be painful or uncomfortable. It is important for you to keep a note of when this happens. There are multiple reasons why intercourse can be painful for women. The most common reason for discomfort is dryness down there. In other cases women feel deep sensations that could be result of constipation, or a muscle spasm as the result of your partner penetrating hard enough. If you regularly feel discomfort during sex, it is better to consult a doctor, talk to your partner, tell him what you loved about the experience, and save what made you uncomfortable for later. This is the best time to enhance your intimacy with your partner and enjoy while you have him all to yourself. Being affectionate with your partner right after sex ensures a more satisfied sexual bonding. Try blow dry your vagina after cleaning. You would be surprised, but many women are blow drying their vagina after sex. It is very effective according to some doctors, although you must be careful. Blow drying is especially effective for women prone to UDs and vaginal mycosis. Before blow drying, wash the vagina with warm water. Use cold air setting to dry the area. Make sure you don't overdo it and ensure the innermost vagina remains moist. Use a soft hand towel in the end. It